Hey guys, we're here back in the K2 training facility talking about module clamps. So at K2, we're always trying to innovate and change products based on our installer feedback. And we have some cool new changes to our clamps. So this clamp is our standard clamp that we've had for many, many years. It uses the MK3 UL 2703 bonded and listed, spring loaded. You can preload the rail. Nice product, but we've been listening to customers and as the products have evolved, we've introduced some metal components uh, and with the same bonding, but now we have a universal clamp called the K2 cross clamp. So the K2 cross clamp is a completely redesigned clamp and we've, we've gone through UL testing. So we have the UL 2703 listing for bonding uh, and this allows you to install it much easier just right to the module frame. Uh, you can use this as an end clamp or a mid clamp. So if this is your, your your mid clamp function, you can bring it in, bring in your module. Here we have a little mini module for training. Um, and then you're all set and done. You've got a nice half inch gap instead of the bigger 5 8 gap that we had in the past. Just makes your math a little bit easier. When you're doing full arrays, you're using a half inch gap between the module. Uh, we also are acknowledging that module manufacturers are starting to request, and in some cases require, uh, more engagement on the module frame. So this is 50 millimeters of, of clamp engagement on the module frame, which becomes a much more important uh, feature in these products when, um, when you're dealing with bigger modules. So, and again, this is a universal clamp. So if this is, if this is the end of your array and this is your, the end clamp, you're using the same clamp as an end clamp. So you have it installed there and you can leave it as so. And that is the end clamp. If you want to hide some of the hardware there, we have a couple of end cap features that go on just for pure aesthetics to make it look nice and clean for the end of the array. So if you're interested in trying out this product, if you haven't used K2 in, uh, in any of your installs, talk to your sales rep and try it out. And you'll see that we do listen to our installers.